So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Trauma Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're gonna be doing a compilation video. So on the docket tonight, I'm not gonna lie, this is an episode of I Don't Really Care Media because all three stories to me are either played out or they're talking about topics or people that I don't even think we care that much. But this was sitting in the leftovers vault from last week, so let's get to it. First up, it's alleged that the Cuckoo Bird couple, rapper Blueface, and reality TV personality Krishan Rock are married. Yes, you heard that right. Blueface's mother spoke out about this and she seems very upset with the direction her son is going, but she should have cared a long time ago. It's clear that Blueface has been who he is for a long time and although his mother can be messy, but then also funny at some times, somewhere along the line, the ball was dropped. But both of them have changed their social media profiles to a bride and groom emoji and tagged the other person, so people are speculating that they've gotten married. Next up, R&B singer SZA says that she regrets her BBL. She says that although she is happy with her results, she doesn't understand and why she even did it. She talked about the weight gain, she talked about the recovery, and the funniest thing about SZA is people used to call her a liar. Because when you look at some of the things that she said a long time ago versus the reality of it in current times, a lot of things just don't add up. I remember she said something about not having a TV growing up, and then someone found a picture of her when she was young and she had a TV. Just crazy. But SZA to me is somebody who we perceive as very talented. I think with her regretting her BBL, I don't think it's because she doesn't like how she looks. I think it's simply because there's this pipeline to relaunch launching yourself as an artist or celebrity or someone in the media, and I'm starting to clock it. And lastly, everyone's most hated former relationship here on YouTube, Chris Sales of the former Chris and Queen channel gets exposed. When I tell y'all, y'all were sending this to me so much, especially on Twitter, make sure you follow me on there. And I just think it's funny. I don't think it's funny that he got exposed, but it's hard to use the word exposed when he posted that on his only fans, and then it comes to public viewership, and we just so happen to see it. You put it out there for consumption, and he basically showed that his manhood is minuscule and it's not even that that's a bad thing but I think people are making it a thing because he definitely talks with big d energy when he talks about his former wife which is queen Nyjah and just the fact that I think Chris is living in la la land where he believes he is still the person that he used to be I'm not gonna post the pictures if I can get away with pinning the link or having the link in my description box I will but that's a risk here on YouTube so we'll just have to check back maybe a few minutes after the video is posted and then we'll see or you could go search it for yourself so y'all know what to do number your story story number one, two, or three. You can comment on one or all. I try to read all of the comments. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So our first story is about Blueface and Krishan. They are allegedly married. The reason why I have to really say allegedly is because I feel like by now, some blog would have posted a marriage license or receipts or something along those lines for it to be proven that in a court of law, they are married. I'm not too sure how marriages go when it comes to someone being incarcerated and someone being on the outside. But I recently saw a story about how two inmates in prison had a baby and the female prisoner had a baby girl by way of the male prisoner's specimen being funneled through the pipes and vents of the prison. I don't even know how that is even possible, but it just goes to show that a lot can happen when it comes to prisoners. I feel like a lot of times in prison, it seems to be a lot more freedom, and I use that term loosely, for a lot of these people. I've heard that prison is way better than jail. I've never been to either or, but that's just what I've heard. So the two of them changed their profiles, and here's my take. Either one, this is true, and Blueface is doing this to have more of a hold on Krishan because he already knows that Krishan is never going to leave him alone, and that he needs some type of female interaction. I remember listening to a jail call interview that he did and he said he's been in the hole and all he does in there is play with his dingaling, write music, and work out. So I guess he's tired of that and wants to establish something where he can get conjugal visits from Krishan. And if you don't know what a conjugal visit is, it is when an inmate is married and they're allowed to have their spouse visit them for them to do the nasty because I guess that right isn't taken away from them. The second theory I have that this is not true and they're trolling us per usual, maybe Blueface is going to be getting out of jail sooner than later than what the public thinks, so they're just starting to launch back up in the public factor. He was sentenced to four years, but he was credited for time served, and there's always ways to lessen your sentence, so it is possible. And I feel like possibly they're just trolling for that reason, or for the fact that I think Krishan just simply has access to both of their Instagram accounts, so she can change whatever she wants so that she can go viral and stay viral. Krishan is an attention seeker. She misses the attention she was getting. I'm sure she's not as booked and busy as she once was because the internet is just over her. It's played out. So that 
that's my theory. All in all, if they are married, I think both of them deserve each other regardless, so it is what it is. I did take time to watch both season one and two of their show on Zeus, and it was way better than I thought it was going to be. But I just really don't feel like Blueface is as reactive as we think he is. He's actually decently spoken surprisingly versus the rapper aesthetic that he presents, and I really think he just tolerates Krishan for the benefits that she gives him. On the other hand, she's another person who I don't believe that she's as dumb as she presents herself to be. She may be dumb with her choices, but overall, I think all of these people are very aware with not only their actions, but their words. So when it comes to this, until I see a marriage certificate, I'll just have to believe it when I see it. Now, our next story is about Chris Sales. Chris Sales is exposed on Twitter for having a Rugrats dill pickle as his manhood. And that is the only reason why it's on the docket tonight because Chris is like a laughing stock. I will be real, there are some women who prefer a smaller size than a bigger size. So I don't wish to drag him for what he naturally has, but I do think it was a shocker to a lot of us because I don't think it was expected. But that notwithstanding, Chris gets online and he talks with a lot of big D energy. He's always making comments about his ex-wife's new situation or relationship. And to be honest, a lot of things that he does say about it are true. But when you look at his life, he really doesn't have anything to go on. And it's like he's living in delusion. The pipeline from social media star to OnlyFans is crazy. The amount of people that I come to find out have an OnlyFans really blows my mind because that's how you know that they are literally scraping for money. And even so, I talked about myself with how YouTube has been doing me, but I feel like at this point, I'm definitely making more on YouTube than Chris Sales is. And it's sad because yes, he cheated, but I feel like he could have rebranded so much better. He wanted to stay in that messy, bitter, hateful spirit. And it's like, it never stopped raining for him. This is literally, I don't care news. No one is gonna be talking about this in a week, but to see him doing OnlyFans is not really the shock. It's really the fact that once he was so-called exposed, he tried to downplay the situation. And when I think back to him cheating, the audacity of him to cheat, knowing that's what he had underneath, I'm not sure about Queen Nyjah's preferences. And like I said, I'll be real enough to say that every woman's preference is different. Ladies, you let me know what you think. But the audacity that you had a girl like Queen, who you came up with, you built this huge brand, she stayed by your side through cheating and the embarrassment for as long as she could. And you were out there putting your pulsing piping. Well, I'm, I don't think I could say that. You were out there putting your pulsing penis in other women, knowing that there was a woman who liked every part of you, even that part. That is so crazy to me. Now, I could have sworn that he made a statement, but I couldn't find it. But he did say something along the lines of, my meat isn't even that small, it's just the angles. But y'all, I found his Twitter and he is actively, publicly, and boldly posting all of his OnlyFans content on there. I'm not gonna link the expose, I'll just link his Twitter and leave it at that. But Chris, this is definitely a bad look. You have a child, you actually have children who will grow up and see this. And maybe I should do a video about the aftermath of OnlyFans because I did do a video on OnlyFans when it first was viral and I talked about it's a equivalence to whole culture and things of that nature. But now that I've seen a lot of people come and go and some of the aftermath of it, maybe it's time for an update. Y'all let me know if y'all want that. But I feel like Chris Sales could have honestly rebranded himself. He's not ugly, he has a following, he doesn't get the engagement anymore, but I feel like he could have just went into the gaming space and just did that because a lot of guys do like that. I see he's trying to do a little bit of commentary, but now that I've seen this content, I truly do believe it's over with. Now, our third and final story is about SZA. So SZA, who doesn't really want to be referred to an R&B artist, but I'm gonna to refer to her as that, she reflects on getting her BBL, and she says that she's mad that she did it, even though she does like the results. Now, this talks about the same old story, but I started thinking, and I'm like, I think there's a trend that I'm seeing here right now outside of people speaking about BBLs. Although SZA might be likable to some people, and she does make great music, and she's an award-winning artist, she's no different than a lot of people in the celebrity world. So according to The Shade Room, SZA had said, I'm still mad, but I love my butt. Then it reads, during her interview with British Vogue, SZA opens up about her decision to get a BBL, admitting I'm so mad I did that ish. Despite her regrets, the singer shared that she loves her figure and has no problem showing it off. This body is temporary, she added. So looking through the rest of her statements, she says, I'm so mad I did that ish. I gained all this weight from being immobile while recovering and trying to preserve the fat. It was just so stupid, but who gives an F? You got a BBL, you realize you didn't need the ish. It doesn't matter. I'll do a whole bunch more ish just like it if I want to before I'm effing dead because this body is temporary. It just wasn't super necessary. I have other ish that I need to work on about myself. I need to get my effing mental health together. Not to say you can't do those things simultaneously. Just for me, I realize wherever you go, there you'll be. But I love my butt. Don't get me wrong. My booty looks nice and I'm grateful that it looks pretty much 
I don't know, sometimes natural, but I don't even care. It's something that I wanted. I'm enjoying it. I love shaking it. And it was funny because someone in the comments was saying, she's saying, I'm hot, but I'm cold, but I'm wearing a jacket, but I'm mad I brought a jacket, but I'm hot, but it's chilly, but I'm hot, but it's really a nice jacket. And that's true. It sounded like a whole bunch of mixed up mumbo jumbo nonsense, like complaining, but at the same time, feeling herself with a little bit of confidence to stand on her decision. But I don't really know if she's really confident in her decision. She didn't need a BBL, but nobody does. I think a lot of people just need a Planet Fitness membership, calorie deficit diet, and not being gluttonous. And they'll be very happy. I have lost weight I'm close to 15 pounds down from where I was this time last year and it all started when I realized what am I trying to be thick for I'm naturally tall thin model-less bodybuilder puberty gave me some hips and some booty but I feel a lot lighter on my body by carrying around less weight and I realized that the older I get when I gain weight it's harder to get it off and y'all when I was in the hospital recently I took my height come to find out I've been lying I'm not five foot ten somehow I'm now six foot even so now I'm in the six foot club and I'm gonna start saying that nonetheless I just feel like there's always this type of comment when someone's about to get on Ozempic or lose weight. And they start off by talking about how much they love their body and they're somewhat content about their body. And then a few months later, we usually see them slimmer than what we saw them months before. And that's really what I see here. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing SZA in a smaller look in the next few months because she really didn't need it in the first place. She has a beautiful face, great talent, great voice. And with her being in the genre of R&B more than any other genre, I don't think we expect the R&B girls to be more voluptuous like we expect for the rapper girls. But I see it everywhere. To me, this is like a soft launch to her making some finalizations about her choice to get her body done before eventually we see something else just like every other celebrity is doing. A lot of women regret their BBLs or they realize that it was unnecessary or they realize that it's a temporary body. The amount of girls that I know that got a BBL and then they gained the weight right back and all they have is a big butt but everything else is still the same is crazy. So let this just be a reminder that if you decide to get your body done you still have to stay active and healthy just like you would if you didn't have what you have. She is right about it being a temporary body. Our bodies change as we age and we cannot defeat time so make the healthiest and best choices for your body and stop being so influenced by social media it is clearly not real life so that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below what do you think what do you know let me know if you haven't already check out my vlog channel i will always pin down my vlog link in the description box down below as well as the pinned comment but also you could check out chris sales twitter because that's pinned down there too y'all that is crazy i'm just gonna have to keep it real but definitely check out my vlog channel that's more important and last but not least as always don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all let's go mm, yeah let's go it's trauma yeah let's go trauma can you talk about something else what's going on went to school got a degree i always say it in my song nigerian parents raised me by the book right and now look big stage heavyweight money day business good model girls always looking pretty just like how they should i know it's haters saying that i started acting hollywood this is how you get when you know you finally getting good and this is how you act when it's people to get out the hood yeah <laughs> shout out team cheeks kim murray chi ray nance jaden dominique sorry i ain't been back but my talent's an anomaly and r.i.p my cousin mike i know he would be proud of me dislocating elbows cause now i'm getting out of reach tiptoeing to the top and i ain't even try to creep they like it when i preach and trust me baby i ain't for the Week. Jones acting like me trying to leash, but I just want peace. New school rapper, but my style's really antique. He liking what he see. Yeah, daddy, come and take a seat. Uh, yeah, daddy, come and take a seat with me. QC, cause I might be falling deep.